Welcome everyone to the Introduction to Mastercam video series. My name is Cameron and I will be your instructor as we go from being total newbies to Mastercam to having a complete part that is ready to machine. So here is Mastercam you can see and to download Mastercam yourself you would go to Mastercam Home Learning and here you can download the learning edition of Mastercam where you can do everything except post-processing. So once you have Mastercam downloaded, you can open the program and this will be what you see. Yours will look slightly different, mainly because I customized my colors here. Um, for example, this will be white as will the background here. So really quick overview of Mastercam. What is Mastercam? Mastercam is computer-aided machining or computer-aided manufacturing software. So you have a program like SolidWorks, purely design-based. It's going to allow you to create your parts, but it's not going to offer the functionality you need out of the box to write programs that a CNC machine can understand. So here comes Mastercam fulfilling that role. And with a typical workflow with uh, with 3D printing, for example, here, we'll take a look here. 3D printing workflow is design, computer-aided design. Create an STL model from that, send it to the printer, print your part, inspect your part, and you're done. With machining and CNC machining, it's a little bit more involved, quite a lot more involved, in fact. So you have the same design phase here. Cam, tool pathing, that's what we're going to do today. You run those through what's called a post-processor that compiles it into a language that the machines can understand. You have to set up your machine properly. You have to run a part to make sure that the machine is doing what you think. You gotta go back and optimize that program. If you had 100 parts you needed to make, you would optimize that to save time and efficiency, and then you would run the full batch once you know everything is good to go. So with Mastercam, here's our basic interface, and I'll go ahead and show you a part example that I have here. This is a part that was made recently. Pretty complicated five-axis part. Obviously, we're not going to be doing anything near this, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So you can see here is all of our tool paths, and if I turn on my tool paths, you can see quite a lot going on there. So all of those are all the tool paths for all the features on this particular five axis part. And again, just to show you how complicated this can get, we've got 156 tool paths right here. So that's quite a lot. Back to our basic interface here. You have a Windows style tab here, much like the Office softwares. I'm scrolling through my middle mouse wheel to scroll through these. I like to do that when I'm in a hurry so I can advance through these menus really quick. So here's where all your functions are. Wireframe for creating geometry, for example. Here I can create a circle. I don't really want to do that, so I'll select it and hit the delete key and that'll get rid of it. I can draw wireframe geometry and then actually extrude solids. It's pretty robust for basic functions for solid modeling, but I wouldn't recommend it. If you're a true CAD designer, you're gonna be using something like SolidWorks. Some different view options. And one thing I'm gonna reiterate over and over throughout this tutorial is that most of what you see here are not actually functions that you're gonna to need to really know in order to create a basic part, such as what we're gonna do here shortly. So just keep that in mind if you see all of these power fence, fence, net, solid, uh, surface functions. Those are uh, more advanced functions for specific applications. I do use those frequently, but in this instance, we're doing a basic two axis, two and a half axis part. We don't need to worry about those. What you do want to worry about are tool paths. So this is where we're going to be creating our actual tool paths and transform. This is where you can move things around in the software in the graphics window and that's pretty much it. 
So, it's a quick overview of Mastercam. This is your graphics window, and this is where your part's obviously gonna live, and that's where you're gonna be editing it. Now, if you've never used a software like this, just to give the beginners a little bit of a guide, the way that I pan around is I click the middle mouse wheel and then drag my mouse around, and that's gonna allow me to move in space. Now, I have a three, 3D mouse that I use as well, and that allows for multiple types of motion at the same time. You don't need one of those, but I certainly recommend it. If you know you're gonna be working in SolidWorks a lot, uh, I recommend one for sure. So the graphics window here, to the left of that you have the toolpath manager right here. And this is where we're gonna be doing a lot of our work as well, once I show you how to get going with that. Down below, <clears throat> you do have a couple of options here solids so if you have a solid model in here it'll have some of the history here of that model plane manager is just different views so you can see the center gnomon here shifting as i go through different views levels i find these very useful when i have a complex part that <clears throat> certain things i want to hide certain things i want to show and levels allow you to put parts of your geometry onto a level and turn on the visibility or not. We're not going to dive into those, but it is a useful thing to have. And then recent functions, probably not going to need that. So in our toolpath manager, again, this is where we're going to be doing a lot of the work. And all of these little icons here, I'll explain what those mean as we come upon needing to use them. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and open our part. So we'll go into File, Open. Another way you can do this is File, Merge. If you already have a part open and you want to, say, replace that part with another part, updated model maybe, you can merge, and that's going to keep the same file open but allow you to basically insert a new part in there. In this case, we're starting from scratch, so we'll go ahead and open. And I have the file that we're using saved to my desktop, so I'll go ahead and grab that. And the file we're using is the Mastercam Titan 1M. So we'll open that up. And take a second here. So here is our part. Right, so we've got our part. And Control T is a function that I use frequently. You can see this is a little bit uh, oh, translucent, so to turn it fully opaque, if you hit Control T, that's gonna toggle on the opacity. Useful function there. So I'll keep it opaque for now. If I select this model and then right click and go to the solid colors, I can actually change the color of the solid just for the heck of it, I'm gonna change it to this orangish color here. So that's about it with the introduction. And in the next video, I'll show you how to get set up so we can start making some toolpaths.